Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by NatureBox. Snack smarter with French toast granola, sweet blueberry almonds, and more. Get 50% off your first order when you visit naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Hey guys, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and last night Raymond Cox, who plays under the gamer tag Stallion83, became the first gamer in the world to hit 1 million gamer score, milestone eight years in the making. Cox has been collecting achievements since the day Xbox 360 launched on November 22, 2005, and in 2010 was even recognized for the Guinness World Record for having the highest gamer score after he passed 511,000. Looks like he's going to be keeping that one for a while. Last night, he live-streamed his final push for achievements on Twitch to more than 10,000 gamers who watched and cheered him on, and late in the night, he unlocked the 50-point achievement I Like a Challenge on Titanfall, which put him at exactly 1 million. Of his achievement, Cox says, Many, many hours, many, many nights. I can't even explain how much I've put into this. I put my heart and soul into every minute and every day of just doing this. All those zeros, I can't even explain it. Speaking of Titanfall, the game is barely out, but so are the cheaters. Several sites have been spotted offering PC players boosts like aimbots, wall hacks, and extrasensory perception hacks that help cheaters see items, players, and objects that wouldn't otherwise be visible, but Respawn says they're on the case. The studio is tracking users who don't play by the rules. They say, finding cheaters in Titanfall? So are we. We're logging them now and they will be rooted out shortly. The studio has also announced that Australia, which relied on servers in Singapore during the beta, will have local servers rolling out tomorrow. Well, Friday. So today, if you're actually in Australia. Respawn co-founder Vince Zampella made the announcement, saying, Aussie servers coming online starting Friday morning and building capacity each day. He also credits the local servers to a joint collaboration by EA, Respawn, and Microsoft to make it happen. In more serious news, PopCap Games, the studio behind the newly released Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, has laid off an unspecified number of employees, so it appears PopCap HD, the team that worked on Garden Warfare, is unaffected. Studio General Manager John Vecchi has released a statement saying, The changes we made today at PopCap were painful and we're sorry to lose some of our friends and colleagues but it was also necessary in order to stay on course with our future plans for mobile games, live services, and new IP. Finally, a League of Legends professional player for Team AHQ Korea has attempted suicide after revealing his involvement in a match-fixing arrangement which he says his manager coerced him into. The player, Xiong Min Ki, who goes by the moniker Promise, and a fellow teammate were approached during the OGN Spring Championship season by their manager, No Day Chul, who told them, if we don't lose to the big teams, our team would be unable to play in the playoffs. Ki caved and threw several matches, but after his teammate, Yun Hyung Mo, who goes by Axing, grew suspicious about the situation, they approached their teammates who had been unaware of their manager's demands. The team determined not to lose any more matches intentionally, and their manager then began selling off the computer equipment their sponsor, AHQ, had provided for them to practice on. After contacting AHQ, the team also learned that the salaries they had been drawing and the house the team lived in hadn't come from AHQ. Their manager had been paying them with profits from illegal gambling on the fixed matches and was now heavily in debt. The team continued playing through the season, but was unable to recover and dissolved shortly after. Ki, after revealing his involvement, attempted suicide by jumping from the roof of the 12-story apartment building where he lives with his sister. He landed on a recycling bin which broke his fall to some extent, but he suffered severe fractures and bruising throughout his body. He was taken to a hospital and has now woken from a coma, but the long-term damage he may have suffered is still unknown. Several of his fellow esports players have begun collecting donations towards the medical costs, and Riot Korea will also contribute towards his recovery. The Korean Esports Association, Riot Korea, and the Korean police have begun an investigation into the allegations. And that's the biggest news today. We'd like to offer our sympathies both to those laid off at PopCap and to Shayan Min Ki. Suicide is never the answer. If you're at risk of taking your own life, please tell someone. You might be surprised how many people care about you. If you really don't feel you can confide in a friend or family member, please visit suicide.org for your local hotline number and talk to someone. Love you guys. 